Uh, good morning, <clears throat> afternoon, or evening, everybody. This is JT, the Prodigal Son, at Project Reality, back for another video. Uh, life is very interesting, and it's amazing how uh, the Father can show you so many things, and yet you still don't understand this other area. Okay, there's a cognitive dissonance in humanity and as part of the serpentine psychology remember the tree of knowledge of good and evil it's good and evil if you look at your brain it's shaped in it's shaped like polaris you have the light the pine the pineal which would be the keystone where the light comes from and the and the uh the left is the sun the left hand path and the right is the moon it's male and female and the light's the keystone okay and you have 33 vertebrae in your spine because we're we're serpentine uh satan is the god of the physical reality molech satan okay uh and everything that is in this physical reality, molecular reality, is physical, physics, okay? Even, see, we were made in the image of God, and we became serpentine, okay? Adam and Eve ate off the tree of knowledge of good and evil, mixed with the serpent race, okay? <clears throat> and they took on the physical, and everything in the physical is in Satan's image, okay? Because he is the god of electromagnetism, and electromagnetism is the physical reality, Okay, so it makes things physical. Everything is, is just energy. <clears throat> you know, our reality is they're like little magnets. Everything is energy. And they said even things that are solid are like 99.99999% hollow. It's energy. All right. All, <clears throat> all <clears throat> atoms are, it's spoken word. It's frequency. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God, right? He, the father is light and oscillation. And... Uh, the mother is electricity and magnetism. The lion, the man, the ox, and the eagle, the four faces of the chair, because he's male and female. Do you understand? Lion, man was uh, light, magnetism, ox, eagle, oscillation, electricity. Okay? Those are the four faces of the cherub, the fallen cherub. Lucifer, the cherub that fell from the most high realm. Okay? And was tempted by Leviathan. Okay? From all my understanding. <laughs> But there's cognitive dissonance, and what cognitive dissonance is, is you have certain beliefs that you believe are true, and then you have certain beliefs here you believe are true, okay? But if we could see the whole picture at one time, we would understand that some of our beliefs contradict our other beliefs when they're brought together, okay? And I've been doing a lot of research lately, <clears throat> and people will tell you <clears throat> that you are not allowed to question the Holy Bible. This is the inerrant word of God, the King James Version, the new NIV, the AMP, whatever version it might be. There's all these different versions. Okay. And if you question this, that you're, you know, you're a heathen, you're going to hell, and this is the word of God. And dude, I'm telling you. And I have had people, they tell me, you're not allowed to question that. You're not allowed to question that. Proverbs 25, 2, I believe, is the glory of kings to research a matter to look into a matter there's the glory of kings to look into a matter a loving father would not punish a son for asking questions and my first question about the bible and it's pure authenticity you know the way that we view the bible the holy bible what it truly is okay is that we understand that there were old testament scriptures the very the oldest scriptures were written in hebrew Okay, Paleo Hebrew, Aramaic Hebrew, regular Hebrew. I imagine there were a few different kinds of Hebrew, okay? But that was the Old Testament, the Torah and the prophets and the Old Testament. Okay? Now the New Testament was written in Greek. Okay? Like the Septuagint. <clears throat> Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, the Epistles of Paul, the Apostle, right? Written in Greek. I'll turn this down a little bit. Okay, now, things get lost in translation. Meanings get lost in translation. Sometimes words in Hebrew don't necessarily have a perfect word that would match in Greek or Latin or Old English or New English. See, as it gets edited and it gets translated over and over and over again. Have you ever played Telephone Company? Sometimes meanings get changed words get changed 
words get changed on purpose. Sometimes they add words. Sometimes they take words out. Why would they want to do that? Why would they not want us to know the absolute truth? Okay? Satan being the god of this world. Right? Jesus said, I'm from above, you're from below. If this were my kingdom, you would fight for me. Right? He said, I'm not of this world. All who came before me were liars, murderers, deceivers. All who came before me, before Jesus. Okay? This is where it gets interesting. So, um, I had, I have people, I develop relationships with people who watch this channel. Okay? People leave comments. And sometimes people will follow certain channels. You know, God will lead them to certain channels to learn certain things, and they will stay, and I will develop a relationship with them. Sometimes God will have them move on. And I've seen this happen a lot of times. You know, we all walk different paths. Okay? But I had somebody who has watched some of the videos on my channel, and they commented and said, have they, they said, have you ever heard of this channel? There's a channel. It's called Scriptural Truth. And I'm like, no, I have not heard of it. She said, well, I was on a live stream and there was somebody else on the live stream, on Scriptural Truth's live stream, who I believe is a, a subscriber of your channel. So there were two people that watched Project Reality that happened to be on Scriptural Truth's live stream. And she said, yeah, uh, her name's Taylor. And there is a girl, her name is Taylor Anderson, and she watches the videos on this channel and she has commented a lot. And uh, if you're out there, hey, you know, cool. And, you know, that's great. That's awesome, you know. But she's like, what scriptural truth, the thing that this channel is exposing, and this is something I've, I've always kind of questioned and I've heard, you know. Uh, but I've never really gave it 100% pure laser focus. And I must say this first. After I had listened to the Gospel of John, God put on my heart to listen to the Gospel of John. Like, dude, it was like four or five times in like two or three days. I listened to it, the KJV version, over and over and over again. And every time I listened to it, I was getting a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Okay? And one of the things that I felt God revealed to me after I had listened to the Gospel of John is that Lazarus wrote it. And some people say, no, it wasn't Lazarus. It couldn't have been Lazarus. And they gave reasons. And Lazarus was this. Lazarus was that. You know, uh, he couldn't have been at the at the uh, Last Supper. You know, I'm not, you know, do research this for yourself. But the only disciple or apostle that is mentioned that Jesus loved in the Gospel of John was Lazarus. Jesus loved Lazarus. And at the very end of the Gospel of John, it says, I am the one who penned this book, the disciple that Jesus loved. And I witness to these things. I attest to these things. Okay? He's the only one. And why would they call it the Gospel of John? There was a John the Apostle of a Jesus, right? But John means grace or God's grace, the Gospel of God's grace. Okay, it doesn't mean, it might not mean John the Apostle wrote it. It means the gospel of grace. And how graceful would it be that if somebody who penned the book, the gospel of John, was actual living proof that Jesus is the resurrection, right? And brought him back from the dead. Just a thought. Look into these things for yourself. They would have to hide the identity. And remember, the Jews sought to kill Jesus and Lazarus. The Jews sought to kill Jesus and Lazarus because Jesus brought him back from the dead and Lazarus was the proof that Jesus was the resurrection. Okay? So if they killed Jesus, let's, okay, so in the, in the Gospels it said they killed Jesus, they hung him on a cross, you know, with a good thief on the left, the, the, the bad thief on the right, and he was the light, right? Just like your, just like Polaris. These are questions. It is the glory of kings to search out a matter? Okay. Would he not change Lazarus' name or identity to keep him from being hunted down and murdered or killed or persecuted by the Jews? Okay. And this is legitimately a major, major point, but this is a side point from what this video is about. I'm not a prophet question everything I tell you. 
we ask questions so we can ask the Father. Knock and ye shall receive, or asking ye shall receive, knock and the door will be open. I believe Lazarus wrote the Gospel of John. The Gospel of Grace. Okay? The one that Jesus loved was Lazarus, and the one that penned the Gospel of John was, was the one that Jesus loved. Okay? Hidden identity. Proof of the resurrection. Here's the other thing. Okay? There's the Son of Man. The Son of Man must be lifted up, just as Moses raised the serpent in the wilderness. I must be lifted up, said Jesus. Why would Jesus call himself a serpent? But then there's Jesus, the Son of God. So if Jesus is the Son of God, why does he call himself the Son of Man? They're opposites. Okay, now scriptural truths channel. And one more thing I want to mention before I bring this up. And there's tons of evidence. There's tons of evidence for this. Okay. So after I had listened to the Gospel of John over and over and over again, and I felt like God gave me the revelation that Lazarus actually wrote the Gospel of John, the Gospel of Grace. I, I do, I like instantly within the next day or two, I started listening to the, the, to the book of Revelation on my KJV audio. And dude, it was making me sick to my stomach. Jesus, okay, Jesus in the book of Revelation is talking about spewing people out of his mouth. And they're going to say, he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He comes back as a lion, right? He's coming back. Well, remember, he said, my kingdom is from above. This, this is not my kingdom. If it were, you would fight for me. I am from above. You are from below. Okay? So this, this Jesus is coming back. Remember, it says that, that heaven comes down to earth, new Jerusalem, and his kingdom lasts forever. And God's glory is the light, and Jesus Christ is the lamp. But Jesus returned to the Father, the Son of God. But the Son of Man comes down. Because there's two Jesus. It's the mirror. It's Lucifer's mirror. He said he would be like the Most High. Everything God does, he copies it and mirrors it and inverts it. Then the Bible's men mixed up. See, and I knew when I read the book of Revelation, I'm like, this isn't the Jesus of the Gospel of John. Not the one that speaks to my spirit. Christianity is the most divided religion in the world. It just plainly and simply is. In Christianity, I believe there are 40,000 different sects of Christianity. Why would that be? If you look at the Baphomet, it says dissolve and mix. It's their law. It's Satan's law. He dissolves and mixes. Thesis, antithesis. Or thesis, antithesis. Okay? Equals synthesis. Okay, dissolve and mix. The whole we by Bell, the whole we spirit, because Lucifer has holes. Look up the sun dog. Look up sun dog on Google Images and just search all the images. That's their holy spirit. Jesus, the Father, Son said the spirit of truth. If you receive the Holy Spirit, what's holy? I'm asking questions as the glory of kings to search out a matter. He said, I will send you the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth. Okay? And this is where I'm at. This is simply where I'm at. Okay? What scriptural truth is giving, and you're allowed to ask questions, is what I believe is profound evidence. That there were two Jesus. There is Jesus bar Abba, which means Jesus, son of the father. And then there is Jesus Christ, which is the son of man. And what the Council of Nicaea, the Roman Catholic Church, the whore of Revelation, Satan's church did is they took the scriptures and dissolved and mixed them. When you look at the Baphomet, it says dissolve and mix. It's their law. The Bible's all mixed up. The truth is in there. The lie is exposed in there. And the serpent's truth is in there. And it's all mixed up and it's mirrored. And it's very hard to discern and understand. There's so much in there. I want you to look into Scriptural Truth's channel. It's very well done. Okay? And there are a few videos I, I will put a link to in the thumbnail or in the description in this video. And she gives evidence for one of the gods of the Old Testament and the law. Okay, 
Jesus said, your law, your law. There were over 600 laws that they had to, that the Hebrews, the God of the Hebrews gave to them through Moses, okay? And if they did the good things, they would be blessed. And if they broke the laws, they would be punished or cursed. It's blessings and curses, good and evil. The tree of knowledge of good and evil. Okay? And it said when God descended on Mount Sinai, there were lightnings and thunderings. Who's the God of lightning and thunder? I feel Satan is lightning falling from heaven. He said he'd be like the most high. And if you watch the videos on this channel, you understand that the God of this world, the one who made this whole thing, was Satan and Lucifer. Okay? Two peas in the same pod. The God of this world is Lucifer. And Satan is the God of this world. Lucifer's infested with the spirit of Satan and formed this whole molecular reality down here. Why is the Father lightning and thundering and descending on Mount Sinai? And there's actual evidence that the top of Mount Sinai, it was scorched. Interesting things. And also, the God of the Old Testament also at least one of the gods of the Old Testament killed Aaron's sons because they presented strange fire and he killed them. And he, this God also killed Moses and buried him before he was allowed to cross over into Israel, into the promised land. Okay? And Jesus, Jesus, one of the Jesus of the New Testament says, No one hath seen the Father except the one that comes down from the Father. I am from above, you are from below. No one has seen the Father. And the Old Testament says that uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob wrestled with God. Actually, had a wrestling match with him. Okay? Moses spoke to God face to face as a friend. But Jesus in the New Testament said, No one has seen the Father. So is, is there something impersonating God? The true God, the one true everlasting God, the living God. Is there an impersonator? If it were possible, even the very elect would be deceived. He deceives the whole world. Interesting. This woman gives a lot of evidence for this God, this Lord God of the Hebrews. Remember, he said, I set up kings. All these kingdoms have been given to me. He showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world, said all these have been given to me, I give them to whom I will. Fall to your knees, worship me, and I will give them to you. But Jesus said, this is not my kingdom. If it were my kingdom, you would fight for me. It's not his kingdom, and it's not the Father's kingdom. I am in the Father, and the Father me. If you knew me, you would know my Father, because I am in the Father, and my Father and me. Jesus, but the Son of the Father, the Son of God was the image of the Father God. Who's Jesus Christ? Christ is a surname. Why are all these 501c3 churches allowed to teach Jesus Christ and preach Christ Jesus? Is it the wrong Jesus? Eating flesh and drinking blood? I'm going to put a link to Scriptural Truths channel in the description here in this video, and I want you to watch this. There's very, very compelling evidence to what I'm speaking of. There's two. There's two. And when they talk about Barabbas, and he was a murderer and all this, Satan's a murder liar from the very beginning. So you have Jesus Christ, and then you have who? Barabbas. What was Barabbas' first name? Jesus. And bar Abba means son of the father. Jesus Barabbas. Or Barabba. There were two Jesus. It's a big secret. There's two of them. And that's why so many people have so many disagreements. Because you have two Jesuses. And they're not telling you which one's which. They just say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And they took all the words of both Jesus. And they mixed them all up. The book of Revelation is strewn all over the place. 
all over the place. It's not in chronological order. This is dissolved and mixed. Your whole Bible is given to you by the Roman Catholic Church, which is the Whore of Revelation. It's got the 66 books of the Holy by Sexual Bull God. The Holy by Bull. This mirror. When you understand that there are two Jesus, it changes everything. Jesus, Jesus said, many will say I'm here. Don't go. Don't believe them. Only those who endure till the end will be saved. If they say I'm over there, don't go. Many will come in Christ's name. Is Jesus Christ the deception? It's so hard to wrap your head around. Is the real Jesus, Jesus bar Abba? Compelling evidence. Very compelling. It's the big secret. The 501c3 church system, giving communion. Then they're all pushing the Antichrist, and I've, I've known this. I'm like, they're all fake, and God always says, Jeremy, leave. Leave. Every single 501c3 church has the symbolism all over it. They all give communion, eating flesh and drinking blood. The sun god. The sun god. And the stars in the firmament eating off the sun. The female stars. Interesting. Leonardo da Vinci with the Jesus, red and blue, male and female in the middle, long haired, right? White skin, long haired. Book of Revelation says he was dark skinned with hair like lamb's wool. Two different ones the Son of Man and the Son of God. Two different Jesus. Saint, be a liar, deceiver. What's he do? If the Father's Son came into the world, wouldn't he give his Son to the world? Call him Jesus too? Which one's which? I can't tell. They look the same. Pray and discern everything I tell you. It is the glory of kings to search out a matter. Proverbs 25, 2, I believe. I don't claim to be a prophet. I only share what I feel God is giving me to share. You need to look into these matters for yourself and don't believe it just because I say it. Look into these matters for yourself. I'm just asking questions and giving reasons why I believe these things could very well be true. If Satan deceives the whole world and he's a murder liar from the very beginning, but he gave us the Holy Bible and said, believe every word in that. And if you don't believe it, and if you go against it, you're wrong and you're a heathen and you're antichrist. Why would you believe me? He was a murder liar from the very beginning. And he's the one that gave us the Holy Bible, the Holy by Bell. Jesus said, you know not what you worship. They don't know what they worship. There's, why does he say the Son of Man? Why don't we say the God, Son of God has been has been lifted up? Must be lifted up. Remember when the God of the Old Testament sent the snakes to bite the Hebrew Israelites, and then Jesus in the New Testament, one of them said, "If a loving, if you if you ask your uh, your your father for bread, will he give you a serpent?" I believe that's what the scripture was, because the God of the Old Testament gave them serpents and they bit them, and he was saying the loving Father would not give his son a serpent. Because that God wasn't the Father. No one has seen the Father. Moses saw God, right? God? Which God? The God of this world? Satan, who is the God of this world? The three Abrahamic religions? Christianity? Christ? Maybe Christ is the deception. Maybe when maybe it's Jesus Barabba. Maybe there's two of them. Think about this. Start reading the scriptures and, and and just ask yourself, are there two Jesus? Because they contradict each other. That's why it's so hard to discern. Hard theme to grasp, and most people will not understand or will just say, you're a blasphemer, you're this, you're that. Question it. For it is the glory of kings to search out a matter. Scriptural truth. There are two very good videos that you'll just, the light bulb will just go off. And you may have more questions after you watch the videos, but they're worth your time. Because it is the glory of kings to search out a matter. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen.